Today, I'll show you helpful ChatGPT prompts from Keywords Everywhere that teachers can use to help with learning and save time. So let's get started. Okay, so to get access to the ChatGPT prompt templates for teachers, you need Keywords Everywhere. So go to keywordseverywhere.com. Now this is a browser add-on that you can install for either Chrome or Firefox. So install this, and the next step is for you to log in to your OpenAI account. Now with the Keywords Everywhere extension installed and turned on, you'll notice two new things in your ChatGPT dashboard. The first thing is this templates button on the left-hand side, and the second thing is this continue button on the top right-hand corner. Now, to get access to the prompt templates for teachers, we need to click on this templates button, and this will open up the ChatGPT prompt templates widget. We then need to click on the category dropdown and click on professionals, and for the subcategory dropdown, we are going to click on teachers. Now, these are all of the templates that we can use. Let's click on the first one, quiz creator. As you can see, this widget opens up for us to add additional information to fill out this prompt template. Now, this template is a great one that you can use to generate a quiz for any subject of your choice. You can choose from different languages, and this is where you add your subject. So for this example, I'm gonna put down grade five math. You can tell how many questions you want ChatGPT to generate for this quiz. You can also add the student age, so I'm gonna put down 10, and quiz type. So you can choose between multiple choice, true or false, or fill in the blank. Let's click on multiple choice. Now this is our prompt template. All the information we added up here automatically gets added to this template. Now you can edit the text within this template if you wish, but this template has been created to provide really excellent quiz questions. So I'm going to leave this prompt template as is and just click on execute template. Okay, so within a few seconds, ChatGPT generated 10 questions on grade five math for 10 year olds. You can see the questions right here with the multiple choice below each question. So this is a great template that you can use to quickly create a quiz for any subject you are teaching. Now, I also wanna point out that sometimes ChatGPT hallucinates data. So some of the information that it generates might not always be 100% accurate. So you definitely want to double check the information that it generates before you actually use it. Okay, so let's go to the next prompt template. Let's click on this templates button. And for the templates drop down, let's click on subject overview. Now this template will help generate subtopics for any subject. You can choose from different languages. And this is where you add the subject you want an overview of. So I'm gonna put down United States history. And this is where you add the student age. So let's put down 10. And this is our prompt template. Now all you do is click on execute template. All right, so ChatGPT generated an overview of United States history. This is our prompt template, and this table is what it generated. You can see the core topic, Native Americans, exploration, American Revolution, and then you can see the explanation of that topic. They also provided a class-based activity that students can do, and also a list of further learning resources that you can share with your students. So as you can see, this is an excellent template that you can use to teach any subject you want. Now let's go to the next prompt. Let's click on this templates button. And for the templates dropdown, let's click on resource generator. Now this template will help you find resources and tools for your subject of choice. You can choose from different languages. And this is where you add your subject. So for this example, I'm going to put down multiplying fractions. And this is where you add your student age. So I'm going to put 10. And this is our prompt template. Now let's click on execute template. Okay, so ChatGPT generated a list of resources that we can share to students to learn more about multiplying fractions. It organized everything in this nice table. So you can see it listed out the tool or resource right here. So you can use uh, Google Slides, PowerPoint, Peer Deck, and so on. And this is a description of that resource and the activity idea. So for Google Slides, the activity idea says, create a Google Slides presentation on multiplying fractions, including interactive elements like draggable fraction models or quizzes. And these are the rest of the resources right here. 
Okay, so let's go to the next prompt template. Let's click on this templates button. And for the templates dropdown, let's click on the last one, lesson plan calendar. Now this template will help you generate a full lesson plan calendar for the next few months. You can choose from different languages. And this is where you add the subject you want the lesson plan calendar to be created on. I'm gonna put down fractions. And this is where we add the student age. I'm gonna put 10. And for how many months? For fractions, let's just do one month and two lessons per week. Now this is our prompt template. Now let's click on execute template. Okay, so it created an entire lesson plan all about fractions. This is our prompt right here and this table is what it generated. You can see it listed the dates right here, the lesson name, the activity that students can do, and also the homework. So for the first lesson, that is introduction to fractions, and the activity is fraction pizza. Students create their own fraction pizzas using paper or Play-Doh, dividing the pizza into different fractional parts. So that's the activity, and for their homework, uh, they can write a short paragraph explaining what a fraction is and give examples of fractions in everyday life. And this is the second lesson, the third one, and so on. So you can use this lesson plan to teach your students about any subject you want. Okay, so those were all of the prompt templates for teachers I wanted to show you today. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.